I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Ham Saranjoji. He is co-founder and CEO at Chipper. Ham, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. All right, so Ham, let's start off by talking about the company. Tell me about Chipper and your mission. Yes, uh, Chipper is a financial platform today where Africans can send money, invest in products, buy goods online, pay businesses. Uh, we're the largest consumer-facing uh, fintech in Africa today. We've got over 5 million registered users. Uh, we have the largest virtual card issuing product in, in Africa. Over 600,000 cards issued in Africa today. Uh, our Stokes product, which is the first of its kind in many markets in Africa, we've onboarded over 140,000 people over the last 12 months alone that now can buy fractional stocks in the US from anywhere in Uganda or Nigeria. Um, our crypto product is one of the fastest growing on the continent, and we have a whole suite of business products that uh, are built for merchants to be able to interact with, with consumers uh, very easily. So very exciting platform. Uh, it's built to allow Africans to live their financial lives in a way that is uh, free and easy, uh, and that uh, they can enjoy the conveniences that uh, everyone in the first world enjoys. Okay. All right, so you mentioned your Visa card product. Um, it's achieved significant growth with over 600,000 cards issued in Africa. Um, so tell me, how do you see this product driving growth, both high growth and high impact within the fintech landscape? Yeah, this is an incredibly exciting product. Actually, we expect to be issuing a millionth card sometime this year. So it's growing really fast. But what makes it so powerful is that a lot of people in Africa have the intent, ability, and the desire to buy products online uh, over the internet. What they lack is the means to do so, the medium to do so. And why that, that is, is because most people keep their money in cash or mobile money. And both those instruments don't work very well for the online economy. So our Visa card is somewhat of a bridge between high intent and ability to pay for good and where the goods live for the online economy and services. So think of people paying for Spotify or Netflix or buying a plane ticket or paying for tuition or whatever else lives on the online economy, which is practically everything today. Uh, they do it through our Visa card. So it's a very powerful product. It's very sticky, it drives high engagement. And we've seen this play out in other parts of the world, right? If you look at uh, Latin America, New Bank's product is hinged on their card. That's the biggest driver of their growth. You look at Europe, Revolut's product is hinged on their card, the biggest part of their growth. Uh, you know, you look um, in the US, Cash App, right? The biggest driver of their growth is their cards business. and even in their earnings report, if you read half their deposits, they go towards the card. So uh, we've seen the same behavior in Africa, uh, and our card product is positioned to be the premier product uh, for uh, millions of people living in Africa today. So we're quite excited about it. We're investing heavily in that product and seeing incredible growth uh, uh, going forward. All right, now you have um, your upcoming Chipper, Day, Chipper AI Day coming up, right? Yes. So. Tell me about that and tell me, how is AI shaping your products and your overall business strategy? Yeah, so we've been investing in AI for a while, long before the, uh, the excitement we've seen in the last 12 months mm -hmm. uh, in the space. And for us, AI has been a tool to do many things across our business, right? Think of fraud reduction, we're in the payments business, so we need to be very cognizant of that. Uh, you know, think of KYC and uh, uh, user verification. Those are all areas where AI and machine learning are very important. And as our company has grown and scaled, uh, we've leveraged that for our internal tools in a way that now allows us to deploy that for others in a very powerful uh, capacity. So on our AI day, which is coming up on August 29th, uh, we're gonna be sharing a number of ways that we've really innovated using AI and leverage that across our suite of products uh, to drive much better user experience, much safer experience for customers, fraud reduction and cost reduction as well, because we're able to leverage less third-party tools and using our own tools. Uh, and we'll be sharing that uh, in a very big way on our Shipper AI Day coming up on August 29th. So uh, more to share on that coming forward, but uh, some very exciting products coming out of that um, AI effort that we've been pushing for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. All right, so you mentioned your lineup of key products that are coming up, um, which includes US Deposits and Chipper for Business, um, following the acquisition of Zuna. Yes. Um, so tell me, how do these strategic moves align with your vision for expanding Chipper's influence and offerings? Absolutely. So there's two parts to that. Um, the uh, acquisition of Zona, which we're quite excited about and we recently disclosed that, um, that really is us doubling down on Chipper for Business, which is our uh, in-house arm that's focused on serving 
merchants and businesses. So we have a breadth of uh, infrastructure right now across multiple countries that allows companies and organizations to do collections, disbursements, whatnot across the continent. And we can now offer that to businesses to leverage for their own needs. Uh, and so we're now doubling down and really bring a whole new uh, host of services via this acquisition. Zona is one of the premier and early fintech companies in Africa. Um, they were one of the first people to get a license from the Bank of Zambia and connect to the switch directly. We're also now moving more into the offline world. They have a bunch of um, agents across the, 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 the southern African markets that we can now leverage to do more um, direct to consumer money transfer services. So with the Zona acquisition, we're able to double down on Chef of a Business, which is going to be a massive effort. If you think about um, fintech in Africa and the opportunity that, that exists, a lot of it has been focused on the consumer. But businesses face those same challenges as well. And most of Africa's economy is made up of small and medium-sized businesses. So if you're a shop that wants to sell goods across um, another border, how do you do that? How do you collect money from that customer? Right? We have products that allow people to do that in a very easy and safe way. Mm -hmm. And that's what Chipper for Business is. So that's a massive, massive opportunity, almost as big as our consumer efforts. Uh, and this acquisition really allows us to put that in high gear, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak. And, and I'm excited for that. The US deposits product is one of the most requested four features that we've ever had. Essentially, as I've spoken about this online economy being a big part of Africans' lives, if you live on the online world and you're maybe a content creator or you offer services online, you need to get paid online. And that's very hard. So a lot of people receive payments via dollars, but have no way of receiving them because most banks don't support that or most neobanks in Africa don't support that either. So this product is geared towards allowing that class of solo entrepreneur, freelancer, online creator to get paid across the world from anyone in the world into their local countries incredibly easily. Mm -hmm. And so we're quite excited about that. That's launching in a couple of weeks. Um, and I'm excited to see how it takes off. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about licensing. Tell me, how are you working with regulators in Africa and in the US on licensing? Yeah, licensing is a very important part of our business. And this is somewhere where we invest aggressively as well. Uh, today, I believe we probably have the deepest licensing portfolio of any fintech in Africa. We've got licenses that support our brokerage business, our money transfer business, uh, our peer-to-peer uh, -peer and payment services business. In the US, we have a number of licenses with regulators and states uh, as well. Uh, and we look at regulators as partners. Uh, in every country we operate in, we're actually aligned with them because we're fathering initiatives that they care about, right? Financial inclusion, that's not just good business. It's, it's good for society. It helps economic development. Uh, these are things that governments and regulators care about. So we come in and we partner with them to father things that they already want to happen. And so they become very important partners of ours on multiple fronts. Um, and obviously they play a very important role in making sure that the entire space uh, continues to allow innovation to happen. Uh, we're only possible because they created a space where two young founders, myself and my co-founder, can come in and build a business um, that can grow as much as Chipper has grown. So regulators are very important to us. Licensing is an area that we're proud to be a strong partner with the regulators in. And uh, for us, we think it's a good part of our business that really builds a significant moat around it as well. Um, uh, and we're excited to see uh, how more products can be built on top of that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Ham, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me in Floor Talk today. Thank you, Judy. Great to be here.